Hello Aquarius, welcome to your you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at your energies, your person's energies, and the main energies between you. Uh, this will be for those of you that already have some sort of connection in mind or are in a, some sort of connection, period. All right, Aquarius, let's get into the spirit messages for Aquarius in regards to love. Just for using the wisdom of the oracle today to get the main energies between you. And then I'll use the animal spirit oracle to get both of your energies individually. So let's see. This is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. All right, Aquarius. What's the main energy here between Aquarius and this other person's spirit? Main energies. In this connection tick tock okay time timing number 30 I'm just gonna look at the keywords of that one in case it resonates timelessness divine timing and measurable time this could very well be divine timing something that's happening exactly when it's meant to maybe the clock is ticking maybe you're waiting for something to happen and it just hasn't yet let's see for aquarius what energy is aquarius bringing to this connection Aquarius, I'm going to have you on this side and your person over here, but feel free to flip them if it resonates more for you. Or Aquarius. What's their energy? Okay, we got horse for you. The horse is all about freedom, movement, being reliable for long distances, being strong. What about the person that Aquarius is dealing with, Spirit? What are their energies in this connection? What are their energies? Well, Lots of depth with the whale, emotions running deep here. I'm gonna pick up my, look at these really quickly. So with the whale, it, it's all about kind of having a depth to you. Um, it's very stable energy, very profound. Um, and it's all about the experiences and what your experiences have led you to, what kind of person you are, given what experiences you've had. Strength, stability, depth, okay. Compassion, communication. All right, so I feel like your person just, when they think of you, when they think of this connection, there is a lot of emotion there that comes from your person. Um, you've probably been through a lot together or your connection has gone through. A lot um, and so the feelings are still deep there's still this like very stable calm energy with your person almost like they haven't wavered and then with the horse momentum freedom energy and force reliable supportive momentum you can ride on its back toward any goal no matter how difficult fully awakened fully alive cannot be defeated freedom physical stamina so I feel like you are ready to kind of do this I'm just picking up like this energy of like let's just let's just go for it let's just start you know I'm picturing like a horse race you know and when a horse is racing it's like full speed ahead of that right out of the gate right out of the gate I feel like you've probably felt that it's been more than enough time here 
So let's get into the tarot. Let's see. What is this? I'm using the Light Sears Tarot today. All right, Spirit, tell me more about this connection. For Aquarius. Tell me more about this connection between Aquarius and this other person. Let's start with the main energies. The main energy is here. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. If this resonates for you in any way, leave a comment and let me know how it's resonating for you. I love to hear how the readings resonate for you guys. And please consider hitting the like button if you enjoy the readings or if you just like my channel. <laughs> the likes really help the channel grow. Okay, so Six of Pentacles reversed, King of Wands reversed, Eight of Wands reversed. I feel like nothing, there's possibly very little communication or blocked communication. Um, also blocked movement. I feel like your connection is at a standstill. Um, there is an imbalance between you. Either one of you, um, it's almost like you're on different pages when it comes to this connection or doing something with this connection. Um, and then I feel like someone's not okay with that, with the King of Wands reversed, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Um, when the King of Wands is reversed, they tend to have like a short temper, be very domineering, be very like tyrannical. Um, sometimes there's like a frustration there. They, they tend to jump into things without thinking. They don't really think about the consequences of their actions. They might have like a very, did I mention short temper? They just, they might just have a short temper. So sometimes when I see the King of Pentacles, not the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands reversed, sorry. When I see him, sometimes I think, well, wow, this person's not happy. Um, like a frustration, um, an impatience there, but an impatience and a frustration that gets taken to a very um, harm, it's like a, a harmful, it affects you in some way. It harms you in some way and it leads you this king of wands reverse to make bad decisions so I feel like whatever's happening here someone's not dealing with it well perhaps someone is very impatient and just wants to get this done get something out of this so tell me about these energies tell me about Aquarius how is Aquarius thinking or feeling in this connection spirit? We'll also look at the potential outcome. So let's see what we can get for you, Aquarius. Death reversed. Scorpio energy here with death reversed. Oh, okay. They gave me two. Tower reverse, two of swords. I feel like you, you're you like, um, you're stuck be in, 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 in making a decision. I got the tower reverse. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. It does not have to be, but I have two energies here that could be Scorpio. I feel like you are, um, when I, the minute I saw that two of swords, I thought there is a, some sort of delay with this choice and then I have the death reverse and tower reverse. So I feel like you're trying to avoid a destruction or a tower moment from a, like occurring in your connection. I think also when I see this two of swords, I feel like this is a major decision. And so you're not taking it lightly and you're taking your time with this decision. You're resisting the end of something, the change of something. You don't want things to completely change. I'm not sure why, because I feel like something has to change in this connection here and the, and the main energy. We'll dig into that when I clarify. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. Ten of Pentacles, we've got the Three of Cups. 
and justice okay libra energy with justice interesting ten of pentacles reverse three of cups justice okay so some of you are dealing with someone who is married possibly going through a separation that's not for all of you but i do see it here um, I feel like this person, um, they want to rebalance the scales, whatever's in like, whatever imbalance is going on. I feel like they want to rebalance the scales here with justice, but with the 10 of pentacles reversed, there's either they're having financial difficulty or a lack of stability or family problems. So we're going to have to clarify and see. And for some reason, I want to use this deck that I haven't used in forever. So this is the Revelations here. All of the decks that I'm using are linked down below. Help me clarify these energies. Spirit. Aquarius, let me clarify these energies. Let's start here. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed? What, what is this imbalance caused by here? Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed? Emperor reversed, Aries energy. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Wands. I get the sense that someone here wants to, again, someone here wants to fight for this, make this happen, is not giving up on this connection. And the other person's kind of like off, like lacking stability, lacking courage, maybe feeling like the situation's out of their control. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles reverse. Tell me more about this. Pentacles reverse. Eight of Pentacles reverse. And so, yeah, nothing's really working because of this imbalance. The Magician reverse. Yeah, something's not manifested here because of this imbalance. I feel like you're not on the same page and it's, it's, it's weird. It's like one person is feeling and has a lot of ex like experience or thinking of the experience of this connection there's a lot of depth and stability to this person but no movement or very slow movement and then I have you over here like let's go what's the hold up tell me about this king of wands reverse why is this king of wands reverse oh two of cups reverse Someone is not dealing well with a separation here or a disconnect between you. This could be you, Aquarius, or your person. Two of Wands reverse. Two of Pentacles reverse. I feel like your person has a choice to make. You both have choices to make in this connection. There's three twos here. Two of Cups, two of Wands, two of Pentacles, all reversed. I have a two of Swords on your side. I feel like your person could be juggling two things, two people, two situations. They need to make a choice. I feel like you're frustrated with this. Something's got to give. Someone has to make a decision here. Tell me about this Eight of Wands reverse. What's the Eight of Wands reverse here? And I feel like someone's like their patience is running out ace of swords yeah someone needs to communicate there's there's blocked communication or very little communication um and it's like th this needs to stop there needs to be clarity in this connection i feel like you haven't had it tell me more about the ace of wands uh, not the ace of wands the eight of wands reverse Yeah, King of Swords. This is all about communication, clarity, and truth. Someone, I feel like, wants to talk about 
stability, long-term uh, commitment, um, harmony, peace in the connection with the Four of Wands at the bottom here. I feel like someone's patience is running out here. And I feel like this communication will make or break this connection. Whatever serious communication this is with the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords, this is like no emotion, direct, open, honest, to the point. <laughs> so let's see, why is the death card reverse on your end? Why is death reverse? The lovers reversed. Why is death reversed? Five of Wands. Interesting. Can I get one more for the death card? Why is death here? Yeah, impatience. I feel like the fact that something has is still happening, Aquarius, is you're you're just so over it. You're over the drama, the conflict, the arguing, the waiting. But at the same time, you don't want this relationship to be over. Perhaps you feel this is your soulmate or this is the person that you want to be with. And it's weird because I feel like all of this energy here, um, this very fiery energy, I feel like typically this wouldn't be the way that you would handle this situation. But circumstances have made it where, you know, you're stuck in this and in, in these with these emotions stuck with the frustration you know what i mean like usually i feel like you wouldn't even deal with this tell me more tell me about this two of swords what's this two of swords about Three of Pentacles reverse. It's, just too, it's like you're forced to make a decision because something isn't working. Someone isn't putting in enough effort. Yeah. Something isn't working. And you're you're just you're trying to decide what to do, but it's like you don't really want to pull the trigger either. And if this isn't happening right now, it will be happening in the near future. Time is fluid. Tell me about the tower reverse. There's a tower reverse here. Strength reverse, Leo energy. Tell me about the tower reverse. I feel like you're trying to control the outcome here, even though something does not appear to be successful. Yeah, King of Wands reverse. This is you with the King of Wands reverse trying to make something work even though it hasn't been successful, even though it's sapped your strength, even though your emotions might feel like they're a little out of control or like you can't get a, a grasp on the situation. You don't want this tower to fall. I feel like in the back of your mind, it's like I've spent so much time or effort in this connection. I can't just give up now or maybe I'll regret it if I give up now or, you know, the time will come when this will be better. Something like that. So let's see. Let's see about your person here. I don't know why I want to shuffle so much, but I feel like it. Let's see. 
What's this, what's this Ten of Pentacles reversed about? What's this Ten of Pentacles reversed about? Judgment. Ooh. What's this Ten of Pentacles reversed about? Oh my God. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Your person, I feel they've made a mistake that has led to a huge loss. Yeah, and it's like they don't even want to look at that mistake in the face. Instead, they're trying to like protect themselves, it feels like, with the Nine of Wands reverse, or not Nine of Wands um, upright, sorry, at the bottom. Page of Cups, yeah, Ten of Wands. This is a burden that your person is carrying. You could be dealing with a Herm, uh, Virgo, not a Hermit, a Virgo. <laughs> um, with the Hermit Reverse and the Judgment Reverse, this is someone that is not seeing clearly. Your person is not seeing the mess they're in clearly. Tell me about this Three of Cups. Or perhaps they need to have some sort of personal awakening. Yeah, look at this. Ten of Wands again. Oops. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Your person might have some other interference. Um, there could be some, some something interfering in this connection. Um, whether you know about it or not. Yeah. Eight of Wands, Justice, the Moon. Yeah, something's going to come out here. Some sort of communication. You're going to receive some sort of communication with this person regarding this interference. I feel like this interference has been heartbreaking or has caused a lot of like emotional, like you're emotionally drained. This person, um, I feel like this person is just drained by their circumstances, um, bogged down by their responsibilities or obligations. Tell me about justice. There's justice here. Queen of Cups reverse. Tell me more about justice. There's justice. Ace of Wands reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, I feel like your person's juggling two people and they probably have a family or financial ties to a family. You have the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Your person could be married and... I feel like they that that you're one of these queens and there's something it's like it's not working out regardless who they pick yeah they're stuck they're stuck in a connection eight of swords higher fine ten of pentacles if you're sitting there you're like um if they're not stuck in a connection like a marriage they're stuck within within a family if you're sitting there like no that's not my story then this isn't for you this reading because this person i mean this is very clear Ten of Pentacles, Hierophant. I mean, come on. With the Justice card here, Ace of Wands reverse, you know, this person is not able to commit to have a new beginning, to, to go on a new adventure, or whatever the case may be. Because they're stuck in something else. And I feel like they refuse to see this for what it is, like the situation for what it is. What's the outcome here? Potential outcome. Potential outcome for Aquarius and this person. Potential outcome here for Aquarius and this person. Queen of Coin. Potential outcome for Aquarius and this other person. Spirit. High Priestess. The sun reverse. There's something hidden here, Aquarius. Yeah, seven of swords at the bottom. There's something this person's not telling you or hiding from you or hiding from themselves. King of Wands reverse. Yeah, there's something here that you don't know. What's this high priestess about? What's this high priestess about? King of Wands reverse. You don't know because this person feels like if you knew, you would flip out. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you would probably block them. Tell me more about the High Priestess. 
Three of Cups. It has to do with the interference. Yeah, Knight of Wands reverse. This person is not going to be able to commit to you. If they're telling you that they are going to commit to you eventually, I don't feel like that's the truth. Nine of Wands, Hangman. Yeah, they're not going to do anything about this interference. Whether it's a third party and another partner, whether it's a family, whatever it is, they're not going to really do anything about it. They don't have plans to do anything about it. And they don't want to tell you that. Interesting. Um, if this is your story in some way, please let me know in the comments. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings and hopefully I'll see you all in another video. Take care.